Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. There's a report out that shows, and rather unsurprisingly I think, that male sex offenders are twice as likely to identify as trans than any other prisoner group. And indeed, the government's own figures show that male sex offenders who are trans are in prison at ten times the rate for sex crimes than non-trans prisoners. In fact, the general population has about 6% of prisoners showing as being in for a sex offence, whereas in the trans cohort it is 60%, 10 times higher. This is a worrying thing, which is why I always say beware. But there are more to it than that, because some trans prisoners are saying that other trans prisoners are faking it and they don't like it. How very weird. I would suggest you're all faking it, because none of you are women. But anyway, we'll take a look at this report, see what's going on behind bars in Britain's prisons and ask why are some men still in a woman's prison? Here goes. So male sex offenders are twice as likely to identify as trans women than any other prisoner, report reveals. Of 168 legally male trans women prisoners, just six were in prison in women's prisons. Now, legally male... So they're male and they've been put into a woman's prison even though they're legally male. Why are they in a woman's prison? They should be in a men's prison. You've got to protect the women. So men who've been jailed for sex offences are twice as likely to identify as trans women than any other type of prisoner government data has revealed. Figures from HMPPS Offenders Equality's annual report, big mouthful, show that just uh, uh, that of the 168 legally male um, Say trans women, men prisoners in England and Wales, uh, were just six were in women's prison, the rest were in men's jails. But surely all 168 should be in men's jails. They are, after all, as defined, legally male. A further 11 who were in men's institutions legally changed their gender through a gender recognition certificate, but they haven't changed their sex. Transgender women inmates also reportedly expressed their resentment for men who were allegedly pretending to be trans. That's all of them. Every single one of them is pretending. They're not real. They're not real women. Uh, anyway, this is raising concerns that some male sex offenders are faking their new identities. Yeah, because they want an easy time, don't they? The finding, made through interviews with male inmates in prison for sex crimes, was revealed in unpublished research commissioned by the Ministry of Justice which has been seen by the prison mag magazine Inside Time. It's like Time magazine, but you don't get out as much. Uh, lead researcher in the study, Sarah Frith, told the publication, there was a theme in the findings related to participants having to prove their authenticity to others, but also questioning how genuine or fake other transgender prisoners were. She said participants described how the fakers were a threat both to the reputation of the prisoners who were transitioning gender, but also a threat to the limited resources that were available to them in custody, the trainee forensic psychologist with HM Prison and Probation Service said. Now, transitioning is the term that they use in the trans community to say, I have no intention ever to cut my cock off. So they say they're transitioning. It's like an actor, I'm between roles. It means unemployed, you know. Um, but, you know, they're saying that uh, it's a threat to the reputation of prisoners. No, you're first of all, you're a prisoner. You haven't got much of a reputation. And secondly, you're a man in a skirt with mental issues or you're a man in a skirt because you're a predator. Because so, so very, very few people are actually gender dysphoric that 99.9% .9 of people are just predators in skirts. Or they're slinging the weight, trying to swinging the lead, trying to get an easier time in prison. And as soon as they come out, they'll be remarkably back to being men again. You know how it goes. Think Corporal Klinger from Mash. For those of you old enough to remember Mash, uh, he always used to dress up in a woman to try and play the lunatic card and get sent home from the Korean War. But it never worked. He ended up staying there. Uh, anyway. It comes out after, or it comes after, trans women inmates have spoken out recently over imposters who they are claiming to be trans have more lenient treatment behind bars. How could any man pretending to be a woman moan about other people being imposters? Oh, the irony! The irony! Anyway, 
Of those interviewed for the latest study by the MOJ, most denied that being transgender increased their risk of committing sexual offences. Well, that's strange because, as I say, for the uh, for the people who are identifying trans in prison, uh, ten times more likely to be in for sex a crime, a sex crime than any other crime. Isn't it weird? Uh, one participant reportedly said that jealousy of a female partner's femininity was a factor in motivating their sexual offence. Ah, oh, you're jealous. You want to be a lady, do you? But yet, strangely, you hate women. You want to invade their space. You don't want them to have their uh, their space, their clothes, their identity. You want to take that from them. You you dislike women so much you don't even want them to exist as women. You take words from them. You don't want them to use the words for the anatomy. It's weird, isn't it? So desperate to be a woman and yet undoubtedly hate them. Frith told an academic conference last week, it's not the gender dysphoria in itself, because so few people have it, that as the direct link, the links with offending, but the climate created as a result of living with gender dysphoria. Well, how would you know? It is like one in a million. It's not the many, many, many that you're seeing. The many you're seeing is people with mental issues or their predators. Her study was commissioned by the HMPPS Transgender Advisory Board, a group which was set up by the MOJ to advise on the safety and well-being of the mentally ill people in custody, serving a sentence in the community. An MOJ spokesman said, well over 90% of transgender of men in custody who like to wear women's clothes and women's face and fetishise the femininity are held in men's prisons and they receive the same treatment as male prisoners. No, they don't. No, they don't. That is a lie. Certainly it should be 100%, not not no, not well over 90%, it should be 100%. And they don't receive the same. They are allowed extra things like the allowance of wearing ladies' clothes rather than prim with, uh, prison uniforms, for example. They're allowed extra money for makeup, for example. There are very many differences. Uh, men, uh, mental men who have been convicted of uh, sexual or physical offences or who retain male genitalia cannot be held in women's prisons unless in truly exceptional circumstances. And I believe that there is currently no man who's undergone bottom surgery in prison at all. Every male in prison, be he in a man's prison or a woman's prison, still is fully intact down below. Not one of them has had the full op because they don't like transitioning. And it's funny as well how they all want to be lesbians because they're just straight men who enjoy wearing women's clothes for a fetishistic pleasure or their predators. It's one of the, or they're mentally ill. Certainly not gender dysphoric because that is such a rare thing. Anyway, I'm gonna round up and come up. Gotta say, it puts a whole new spin on the bird man of Alcatraz, doesn't it? Anyway. These people are completely nuts. They are, are they are either fetishists, uh, the mentally ill, or predators because it is literally one in a million with a genuine gender dysphoria, and they it, it's funny how they always want to go in as women in the prison. You've got to go look at um, Adam, oh was it Adam Graham up in Scotland, the uh, the one who's Isla uh, uh, Isla Bryson now. He's a rough old looking bloke. I tell you, he's a rough old looking bird. But um, he got arrested for some very terrible crimes. And immediately then, oh, actually, I think I've become gender dysphoric now. I think I'd like to be a lady now. He wasn't when he was doing it, and he wasn't before. Ah, oh, but all of a sudden, oh, hard time with proper men. Or oh, I think I've become a lady and go to ladies' prison. Yeah, how's that working out? He's in a man's prison now. Might to be on the upside. He is getting a lot of sex, so who knows? Anyway, I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see in here on the channel, do please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and remember to stay in your lane, gentlemen. Bye.